Hi guys, it's Janet. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am making over my laundry room. I've lived in my home for about two years now and uh, it is definitely one of the rooms that didn't get any loving when we moved in. So I got inspiration from Pinterest and a couple of other YouTube videos. So the first thing I did was go out and purchase a couple of things just to make it look cute and more organized. And let me show you everything that I bought and then I'll give you a tour of what I have to work with, which is, it's really bad guys. And then I'll decorate and show you a tour of after. I went to three stores to get some stuff. And what I normally do is go to a couple of stores and buy just whatever I'm thinking. I always try to think of like a color scheme. So I'm going with white, black, and um, probably some gold or silver. I'm not sure yet. But the first store that I'm gonna share with you is Michael's. No laundry room is complete without some baskets. I thought these were really cute, so I bought two of these. I'm not sure which one's gonna work better. They were 50% off, which I love that they were so inexpensive. Um, here is the smaller one, and it's white and black, which is in my color scheme. And I'll probably write on that little black thing like laundry or something. And regular price, the smaller, Regular price, the smaller one is $20, so I only paid 10. And then this larger one was $25, so half of that. The next item I purchased was a sign. I wanted to add a couple of pieces of like wall, like art or whatever, if you call it that. This is the first one that I picked up. It's really large. It's from Michaels, like I said, and it says wash and dry. And this one was $50, but 50% off, so I only paid $25. Also from Michaels, I got this um, acrylic dispenser. It's for really like drinks. It was really inexpensive. I think it was, I can't see how much it was. I think it was like $15. It wasn't like on sale or anything. It was just a flat price of $15, but I'm going to fill this up with my laundry detergent so it looks cuter than like what I have it in now. And you guys will see what I have it in now. The next store that I went to was at home, a very large home decorating store. And I found some containers. So what I was looking for was acrylic containers because I know that I'm super clumsy and could possibly drop glass ones and they would break and then it would just be a mess. So I was really looking for like acrylic containers and I found some really good ones there for super inexpensive. I purchased three containers, two are the same size and then one is larger. So this is the larger size one and then this is a smaller, I bought two of these. These are for like dryer sheets or different things that I use like for laundry. This larger one was $9.99 and then the two smaller ones were only $7.99. And then the next thing from at home is another sign to put up in the laundry room and it was really inexpensive and I think it's really cute. It's this sign that says lessons from the laundry room and it just has like a couple of like cute sayings on there. It's the color scheme I was going with, white and black, so I thought it was really cute. And the best thing is it was only $17.99. At Hobby Lobby, I found this really super cute rug. I just wanted to add a rug to make it look a little more like inviting in there. It's really large. It's the colors that I'm going with and it was 50% off. So this rug was only, um, $27.99 and I guess what I paid $14 for it. I, guess. I did buy these little um, scoopers in the party section at Hobby Lobby. They will go in these containers to like scoop out whatever's in here if it's something that needs to be scooped out as what I was thinking. And then the last thing from Hobby Lobby is another sign. So I'm not too sure if I'm gonna use the white one with black writing or if I'm gonna use this one. I haven't decided yet. Once I see the whole room put together, I'll pick the sign, but this is it. I like this one because it was a little less expensive. This one was regularly, I think $25 and it was 50% off. And it just says laundry, kind of like a chalkboard sign. It's really cute as well. That's everything that I got to try to make the room look a little cuter. So let's go ahead and get started with the tour of the before. Let's go ahead and go into the room that we're gonna be working on. I did put a ring light in here just to get some lighting because it's so dark in here. And this is kind of what I have to work with. It's a very small space. So 
no nice rug, which I'm excited to change. That one's just disgusting. And then I only have this one shelf, which is, I feel like a typical washroom. It's not cute by any means. Everything's unorganized. And I have this one basket, which has some clean clothes in it I need to put away. So we're gonna go ahead and get started and I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. I have everything ready to decorate. I did find some stuff laying around the house that I just grabbed to add in there probably. So one of the things is this plant, um, which is old. It's a fake plant. Obviously you can't put real plants in like a room with no windows or not that I'm aware of. And then I also found this. I had purchased it for my bathroom last year and never used it. So I'm thinking it might work in there and we're gonna go ahead and get started. Here is the finished product. I think it looks really cute, so much cleaner than before, and just pleasing to the eye, I think. I ended up using both baskets. I thought I would only use one, but both of them look good, and I just can store all things that don't really have a place in them and are kind of hiding and out of the way. I did hand write on them what they were, so, I don't know, my handwriting's not that good, but it will do. That plant thing was from my kitchen. The other one I had pulled out, I ended up not liking the way it looked, so I grabbed this one. And then here are my containers, and actually, it looks like this one needs to move right there. Okay, the first container is these downy little pebbles that I use to make like my towels and sheets smell good. I don't use them on everything, but some things I do. And then I put dryer sheets in that larger one. And then there is my detergent. I'm hoping that this works. I tried to pull some detergent out and it's kind of like dripping. So uh, I'm not sure if I'll be keeping this actual one. We're gonna see how it goes. And then I had to put the little scoop of measuring the detergent right there next to it. And then also this other grass plant thing I had in storage, I pulled it out. I thought it kind of just pulled the room together and then there's the sign. I really like the way it came out. I'm very happy with it. It's not for everyone, definitely. I think some people think it might be a little extra and I'm okay with it because I am a little extra, but I love the way it looks and I'm going to totally enjoy it. So thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do I make videos every week on fashion and decorating. I'll talk to you next time. Have a good day, bye.